how to get started in real estate investing. Well, first things first is you gotta figure out what you wanna do in real estate, right? And that might be rentals, fix and flip, wholesale, develop, flip land, whatever it is, right? Um, also, I think that people like to call themselves real estate investors when to me, so like wholesalers, for example, I don't see them as real estate investors, right? That they're similar to like a real estate agent, right? I see them as being like expert marketers, right? But anyway, everyone likes to call it real estate investing, so we're just gonna go with that. Um, so how do you get started, right? So you gotta kind of look at where you're at. So how I got started was I had a decent job that I made good income at, and I was able to use that job to get financing and save money to buy rentals, right? So that's what I decided to do. But before even doing that, I looked at kind of what the things that were out there for me to do were, right? So I learned about all those things by listening to podcasts. And by listening to podcasts, I figure out that, hey, look, there's like meetups all over the place that, you know, real estate investors go to. And then I started going to those meetups. I started reading some books. Um, I joined some Facebook groups. So that's pretty much the best way to kind of self-educate yourself on some of those things. And then the other thing you could do is find someone that's doing what you want to do, right? So if you want a whole bunch of rentals, find someone that has a whole bunch of rentals and figure out a way to help them. And don't just be like, hey, guy that has a whole bunch of rentals that I want to be like, I'll do anything for you. Just teach me. Because that person is going to be like, well, I got all this shit to do my whole day and I got to figure out something to do for like <laughs> something for this guy to do. Right. So be like, Hey, I did all this research. I know you like buying in this area. Let me find places for you. Right. Try to solve someone's problem. Don't just be like, I'll do anything to be around you because they're busy. Not that they don't want to help you. People are most of the time just busy and they would they want you to help them save, solve a problem, right? Don't just add another problem to them, right? So that, that's the biggest thing. Uh, podcast, so I literally, I would sit at work, do my work, and I would listen to um, Bigger Pockets podcast. I would literally listen to every single podcast and my goal for every single podcast. So I gotta find a notebook. I think it's around here somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. My goal was to write down notes on every single episode. So this isn't that. So I would go through, listen to every single podcast and write notes, right? Because even if someone was doing something that I didn't want to do, it was still important, right? So I just like went through literally every single one from number, I don't even know what number they're at now. Uh, I don't know, whatever. They're like this whole notebook's just like filled, well, here, you see it here. Filled with like notes, right? And every single episode, I would talk about, it would talk about what that person does, what he learns, what books he reads, what he write, all this other stuff. So that's what I did. And I looked at everything from every, from guys buying, I don't know, land, doing development, to guys doing wholesales, to guys doing flicks and flips, to guys buying apartments, to guys buying whatever it was. It didn't matter because you could learn and apply those different skills and different, I guess, uh, lessons learned to whatever you're doing, right? So that's kind of what I did. And that's kind of how I got my start in real estate. And I think that's the best way to do it is self-educate and really just don't be lazy. Don't ask simple questions. You got to figure stuff out on your own if you really want it. If you don't, you can, you can tell the people that don't really want it because they just want the easy way. Like, oh yeah, I guess I could go to Google and, you know, figure this out, but I just want to ask really simple questions of everyone because I want the easy way, right? So don't be that kind of person. And sometimes you do accidentally ask those questions and that's fine, but make an effort to educate yourself somewhat so that way you're not wasting other people's time. 
but hope this helped and uh yeah i'll drop some uh some podcasts and stuff that i've listened to and some facebook groups and meetups obviously my meetups awesome but in some books I've read in the comments below. So let me know what you've used to get started. Like if you're watching this and you're in real estate investing, what have you used or how did you get your start? Kind of like, did you start with podcasts? Did you go to meetups? Did your friend tell you about it? Uh, excuse me. I'm just curious to see like how other people got their start. So hope you have a great day.